Okay, to do it. We have our new teacher, Namtlanj. Care to tell us what is taxation? Okay, taxation miner. Yes, oh, taxation miner. It is, uh, it is the charge or charges by the government on its citizens in order to collect funds to build and also maintain public facilities. Okay, what public facilities do? Public facilities such as schools, hospitals, the army or security, and even the social development such as grants and etc. Okay, define gross income. Gross income. Gross income, it is the total salary or personal income before any deductions. Yes, Miner, before any deductions. Okay, what is the taxable income? The taxable income, it is the gross amount subtracting allowable deductions. The allowable deductions such as the UIF and the pension funds. UIF and pension fund can never be taxed. Then a rebate? A rebate, Miner, a rebate. It is the discount amount given by the government to its taxpayers depending on their age. It depends on their age. Good boy, you may take yes, your seat. Mineer. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Mtutuzi. It seems like you could pass as much as well you could dance. Yes, class. As Mtutuzi has explained, taxation. This will mean I will just jump straight to questions and obviously I will be breaking whatever Mtutuzi was explaining to you guys. Alright, our first question for the day is Mbali is a 45 year old lady which earns about 250,000 a year. Hey, Mbali, if you are watching, please subscribe, man. Alright, the first thing we do before anything is we collect data. We collect the most important information in that question. Yes, what do we know about Mbali? We know that she's a 45 year old lady which earns 250 thousand a year right 45 yes 250 thousand per year okay after we have collected data we have to check which bracket does mali fall under and she falls under bracket number two because of her taxable income is between the amounts given in bracket number two so we are moving we say tax payable right must equals to whatever we are given on that bracket which is 40680 26% of taxable amount above 226 i'm not going to be writing that for the sake of my space so i'm just going to be writing 226000 but then for you you should make sure that you write it the way it is then we continue you must remember this is a long equation. You have to get your marks from the beginning until the end. Yes, let's continue. So it's 40,680 plus you have to convert this 26% into a decimal form. If you don't know how to convert percentages, you should watch the video I've dropped before. Okay, then it says 26% divided by 100. Open our big bracket here. Then we open our small bracket whereby we'll be taking the taxable income, which is 250,000, 250,000, minusing it with this 226,000, right? 226,000. Close bracket and close the big bracket, right? Then we continue. 40,680 plus what does the calculator say when you are dividing 26? By 100 it obviously says 0 comma 26 percent all right then what do we do open our small bracket here we say timings why timings because of this off represents multiplication yes let's continue it is going to be 24,000 close our small bracket equals to 40,680 plus what do we have here our obvious 6,000 240 right equals to what do we have when we add this to 46,920 right we are not yet done why because of Ntuduzi has explained that the government gives each and every taxpayer some discount nyana so the discount for umbali it is obviously going to be the primary rebate why the primary rebate 
because of she is below 45. So we'll be subtracting only the primary rebate. Okay, so you say rebate equals to 46,920 minus 16,425 equals to 30,495. Pay what? Pay year. Yes, Mbali pays 30,495 towards her tax because of she has no medical aid where the must comes in when i'm talking about too big to run must crawl you have to minus the medical aid if the person is paying one okay now let's continue to question number two okay okay question two question two says Fusiso is a 68 year old man which earns 305,000 per year and also contribute 10,000 per year towards his pension fund. Yes, let's collect the data. He is obviously a 68 year old man which earns 305,000 rent and obviously contributes 10,000 towards his pension fund. Okay, per year and per year. Okay, so what is our first step? Too big to run must crawl is to find our taxable income. All right, so we say taxable income. As Mtuduzi has explained, gross minus allowable deductions. The allowable deductions such as UIF and pension fund. And this guy is contributing towards his UIF. So we have to subtract the UIF. So it's 305 thousand minus ten thousand right equals to two nine five thousand per year so this is the taxable income of Spusiso per year all right our second step is to find the bracket that this amount falls under it is obviously the second bracket we'll be using the very same bracket that Mbali used. All right. So we say tax payable. Right? We say, okay, 40,680 plus 26% of amount above 226,000. Right? Then our second step is to obviously go down as we are doing. 40,680. Then we convert this 26% into a decimal form, 0, 0.26, right? Then we open our big bracket here, small bracket there. Then we say, what is Musiso taxable income? 295,000. So we are going to be writing 295,000 here, subtracting 226,000. Close bracket, close big bracket. Okay, we continue. 40,680 plus open bracket 0, 0,26 multiply because of this off represents multiplication 69,000 close bracket okay equals to 40,680 17,940 okay and when you add this to it obviously becomes 58,620 right 58,620. Yes. Whoa. Are we yet done here? No. Because of Mtuduzi told us about the discount, which is called a rebate. And because of Spusiso is a 68-year-old man, meaning he is above the age of 65, meaning he can qualify for two rebates or two discounts which is the primary rebate and the secondary rebate so how do we do it obviously say rebate right equals to 58,620 minus open bracket we add the two rebates which is the first one 6425 plus 9000 close bracket equals to 58,620 minus, and what do we have here? 25,425, right? Equals to 33,195 
per year. Yes, Musiso has to pay 33,195 tax per year. Okay, I hope you are understanding as a movie because of you have to subscribe and you have to like that button because of we are going into deeper questions. Okay, and our uh, third question. Okay, and for our last and final third question, we are going to be saying Semnum Zane is a 22-year-old man which earns 45,000 per month. He earns 45,000 per month and pays 140 rands per month towards his UIF and also contributes 7,600 towards his pension fund each and every year. Okay, now what do we first do? Collect the data. What is our data? He is 22, right? How much is he getting paid? 45,000 per month, right? He pays 140 per month towards his UIF. And he also contributes 7,600 towards his pension fund per year. Per year, right? This is the data that we are given. This is the data we'll be using. The first step is to find the taxable income, right? The taxable income. We say taxable income. Income equals to what? It is going to be 45,000 on-site bracket multiplied by what? 12. Because of the question once annual tax payable. Okay, then we say minus open bracket 140 multiplied by 12 again, close bracket minus 7,600. Okay, our first step is to obviously get his total annual gross income, which is 45,000 multiplied by 12, which is going to be 540,000. Subtracted by what? Is the total UIF amount he pays each and every year, which is 1680 minus the 7600. And our answer is going to be our nice 530720. 530,720. Yes, this is the taxable income. Then the second step is to find the tax payable. Okay, now it is the tax payable. Okay, this amount seems huge. Which bracket does this amount fall under? Is it bracket number one, two, three, or even four? Yes, it is bracket number four. This guy is getting paid. Semnum Zane, you are doing your thing there. All right, so we are going to be obviously using bracket number four, which say 115,762 plus 36% of amount above 488,700, right? Okay, we are obviously going down, saying 115,762 plus, open the big bracket, obviously 0, 0,36, it has turned into a decimal point, then we're going to open a small bracket where we are going to be taking his taxable income, which is 537 20 minusing it with this one 488 700 and then we close the brackets yes all right let's continue 115,762 plus open small bracket 0 comma 36 multiply because of this off represents multiplication what is our answer here 41,000 300 close bracket equals to 115,762 plus what do we have here 14,865 and when we add these two it obviously gives us 130,630 right are we done no because of Sam Numzane has to get his rebate or discount according to the government okay and what is Sam Numzane's discount the primary rebate so guys this is going to be the end of the session and i hope you could ever sleep 
minus the rebate from this amount because of his getting the primary rebate so you are going to be taking this amount minusing the rebate and boom you got your 10 marks yes make sure you subscribe because of this is going to be taking you a long way okay guys and you know i will be expanding on this topic on coming months but then for now this is what i have for you make sure you wrote whatever i told you okay and don't forget what my minor used to tell me too big to run my scroll are the steps to use to calculate taxation okay number one the first t represents the taxable income you have to find the taxable income number two that taxable income which bracket does it fall under number three then you have to calculate the tax payable number four you have to remove the rebate the rebate it is the discount then the fifth one which is the medical aid you have to also minus the medical aid if someone is paying one okay subscribe and make sure you like the video because of taxation a free max